Service Teardown, HP ZBook 15 G5 Mobile Workstation PC. Removal. Slide the service door latch to the release position identified with a service cover icon. Important. If a security screw is installed, it must be removed before proceeding. Slide the service door towards the front of the notebook. Lift the service door off of the base enclosure and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the service door. Before you begin, remove the service door. Warning! To avoid personal injury and damage to the product, use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Removal. Slide the battery lock latch to the unlock position, identified with a battery icon. Slide the battery release latch to the release position, identified with a battery icon. Grasp the Mylar tab and lift the rear edge of the battery to disconnect it from the system board. Slide the tabs on the front edge of the battery out of the cutouts in the base enclosure and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the battery. Before you begin, remove the service door and battery. Removal. Push both arms outward simultaneously to release the memory module to the spring tension position. Grasp the memory module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the memory module. Important. When installing the memory module, be sure to align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot in the system board. Before you begin, remove the service door and battery. Removal. Important. This unit can be configured with three M.2 solid-state drives, two on the bottom and one on top of the system board. All three are removed in the same manner. Remove the 2mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the solid-state drive to the system board. Grasp the solid-state drive by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the solid state drive. Important. When installing the solid state drive, be sure to align the notch in the solid state drive with the key in the solid state drive slot in the system board. Before you begin, remove the service door and battery. Removal. Loosen the three captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the storage drive assembly to the top cover and base enclosure. Lift the storage drive assembly release latch to disconnect the storage drive from the connector on the system board. Lift the storage drive assembly from the cradle in the base enclosure and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the storage drive assembly. Before you begin, Remove the service door and battery. Removal. Remove the plastic shielding that covers the wireless WAN connectors. Carefully disconnect the wireless WAN antenna cables from the wireless WAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless WAN antenna cables from the wireless WAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Remove the 2.5mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless WAN module to the system board and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the wireless WAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the wireless WAN module. Important! When installing the wireless WAN module, be sure to align the notch in the wireless WAN module with the key in the wireless WAN module slot in the system board. Before you begin, remove the service door and battery. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the NFC antenna ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC antenna ribbon cable from the NFC board. 
Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the NFC board ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC board ribbon cable from the NFC board. Important! Make careful note of the position of the NFC board on the top cover for later replacement. Carefully remove the NFC board from the alignment pin and adhesive that secure it to the top cover. Remove the NFC board. Reverse this procedure to install the NFC board. Before you begin, remove the service door and battery. Removal. Remove the three 6.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws identified with a keyboard icon that secure the keyboard to the top cover. Place the notebook on its side and open the display panel. While supporting the notebook, insert a keyboard release tool into the opening in the base enclosure identified with KB Release and gently press the keyboard to partially release it from the top cover. Align the service door with the base enclosure and lower it into position. Slide the service door toward the rear of the notebook until it is secure and the service door latch clicks. Slide the service door latch to the locked position. Turn the notebook over and open the display panel. Carefully release the remaining edges of the keyboard from the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the point stick ZIF connector and disconnect the point stick ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the keyboard. Reverse this procedure to install the keyboard. Before you begin, remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, and wireless WAN module. Removal. Remove the wireless WAN antenna cables from the routing channel on the base enclosure. Remove the three 6.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws identified with the keyboard icon that secure the keyboard to the top cover. Loosen the four captive T8 Torx head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Remove the nine 6.5 mm T8 Torx head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Remove the three 2.5 mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Remove the base enclosure. Reverse this procedure to install the base enclosure. Before you begin, remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, and base enclosure. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the smart card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the smart card reader board cable from the system board. Remove the smart card reader board ribbon cable from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Remove the three 2 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the smart card reader board to the top cover. Lift the smart card reader board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the smart card reader board. Before you begin, remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, and base enclosure. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the system board. 
Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the NFC antenna ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC antenna ribbon cable from the NFC board. Remove the four 2mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad board to the top cover. Lift the front edge of the touchpad board off of the alignment pins and slide it out from under the lip on the top cover. Remove the touchpad board. Reverse this procedure to install the touchpad board. Before you begin, remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, and base enclosure. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the wireless LAN and wireless WAN antenna cables for later replacement. Remove the plastic shielding that covers the wireless LAN connectors. Carefully disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the system board by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Remove the wireless LAN and wireless WAN antenna cables from the routing channel on the right fan. Disconnect the right fan cable from the connector on the system board. Loosen the two captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right fan to the system board. Lift the front edge of the right fan and slide it out from under the heatsink. Remove the right fan. Reverse this procedure to install the right fan. Before you begin, remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, and base enclosure. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the display panel and touchscreen cables for later replacement. Disconnect the touchscreen cable from the connector on the system board. Remove the two 2mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel connector bracket to the system board. Remove the display panel connector bracket. Disconnect the display panel cable from the connector on the system board. Remove the display panel and touchscreen cables from the routing channel on the left fan. Disconnect the left fan cable from the connector on the system board. Loosen the three captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left fan to the system board. Lift the front edge of the left fan and slide it out from under the heatsink. Remove the left fan. Reverse this procedure to install the left fan. Before you begin, remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, base enclosure, right fan, and left fan. Removal. Note, the heat sink assembly has numbers adjacent to the following six screws. Loosen the six captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink over the processor components in numerical order. Note, due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease and thermal pads located between the heat sink and processor components, it may be necessary to move the heat sink from side to side to detach it from the system board. Remove the heat sink assembly from the system board. Reverse this procedure to install the heat sink assembly. Before you begin, remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, keyboard, base enclosure, right fan, and left fan. Removal, important. Make careful note of the routing of all cables connected to the system board for later replacement. Disconnect the following cables from the system board. Fingerprint reader ribbon cable, smart card reader board ribbon cable, NFC board ribbon cable, touchpad ribbon cable,
power button board ribbon cable, speaker cable. Remove the eight 6.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Grasping the system board near the center, carefully lift the right edge off of the alignment pins and slide the external connectors on the left side out of the cutouts in the top cover. Remove the system board. Note, before installing a system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Heat sink assembly. M.2 solid state drive modules. Expansion memory modules. Primary memory modules. Real time clock battery. Reverse this procedure to install the system board. Important after system board replacement, be sure to complete post installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI, and other settings. Before you begin, remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, keyboard, base enclosure, right fan, left fan, and system board. Removal. Warning. The edges of the memory shield are sharp. Take care when removing it. Carefully separate the memory shield from the retention clips on the system board and remove. Push both arms outward simultaneously to release the memory module to the spring tension position. Grasp the memory module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the memory module. Important! When installing the memory module, be sure to align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot in the system board. Before you begin, remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, keyboard, base enclosure, right fan, left fan, and system board. Removal. Carefully insert a non-metallic flat bladed tool into the slot in the RTC battery socket on the system board and press the RTC battery to release it from the spring tension position. Remove the RTC battery. Reverse this procedure to install the RTC battery. Before you begin, remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, keyboard, base enclosure, right fan, left fan, and system board. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector and disconnect it from the ribbon cable. Remove the 2mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the fingerprint reader board to the top cover. Remove the fingerprint reader board bracket from the fingerprint reader board. Carefully lift the fingerprint reader board out of the cutout in the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the fingerprint reader board. Before you begin, Remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, keyboard, base enclosure, right fan, left fan, and system board. Removal. Remove the three 2.5 mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the speakers to the top cover. Lift the speakers off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Important! When replacing the speakers, ensure the three rubber screw gaskets are properly installed. Reverse this procedure to install the speakers. Before you begin, remove the service door, 
battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, keyboard, base enclosure, right fan, left fan, and system board. Removal. Remove the mylar that covers the power button board. Remove the two 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the power button board to the top cover. Lift the power button board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the power button board. Before you begin, remove the service door, battery, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, wireless WAN module, and base enclosure. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the wireless LAN antenna, wireless WAN antenna, touchscreen, and display panel cables for later replacement. Remove the plastic shielding that covers the wireless LAN connectors. Carefully disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the system board by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Remove the wireless LAN and wireless WAN antenna cables from the routing channel on the right fan. Disconnect the touchscreen cable from the connector on the system board. Remove the two 2mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel connector bracket to the system board. Remove the display panel connector bracket. Disconnect the display panel cable from the connector on the system board. Remove the display panel and touchscreen cables from the routing channel on the left fan. Grasp the top cover near the display panel hinges and open it approximately 90 degrees. While supporting the top cover, remove the three 6.5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the top cover. Remove the three 6.5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right display panel hinge to the top cover. Slide the alignment pins on the top cover out from the display panel hinges and remove the top cover. Note, before installing a new top cover, remove all components from the old top cover and install them onto the new top cover. Reverse this procedure to install the display panel assembly or top cover.